Now let's talk about how you use the cold therapy device. And we're talking about the Bragg Kodiak at the moment. It will come with a cooler, a pad, and an AC adapter. This, for this example, we're going to use a, a knee pad. So you're going to take your cooler, and you'll see on the side of the cooler, there are also instructions here on how to fill the cooler with ice and how to attach the, the pad as well. You'll remove the lid, and on the inside, you'll see a sticker here. It will say first fill here with ice and then here with water. Now we don't want to fill it all the way up with water because when we put the lid in you might get some spillage if you fill it too full. Then you're going to put the lid back on the cooler and you're going to pull the handle up to lock it into place. Each pad is designed where it has a coupling at the bottom. You must push in these two tabs in order to fit the couplings together and click them in place. When you want to disconnect, you'll push those and pull it apart. If you're having trouble connecting, make sure that the silver portion of the coupling is pushed, that button. Sometimes this part can hit the floor and click open and then you'll have a hard time connecting. So make sure both of these are de depressed and then you can click it in. Once you have that portion clicked in, you'll take your pad and this is a knee and you'll wrap it around the knee and secure it with the Velcro around your knee, making sure that you have good circumferential compression. And lastly, you'll take your AC adapter, and that simply plugs here into the back of the cooler, and this into the wall. Now while the cooler is running, the pump will be very quiet, but you'll feel the pad become cold. You'll get some compression. Some, some tips while running the pad, you'll see this, this uh, tab here. What it's talking about is condensation. This rubber ho hosing can get some condensation. If it does, it's not leaking. You can simply just make sure it's wrapped up or covered. That's only more applicable in, in hot, humid climates. Also, if you need to ambulate, take the plug and disconnect the power. However, if you, f if you forget to do that, and you unclip the, the pad from the hose, don't worry, the water won't shoot out or anything like that. You might get a few drops, but otherwise it's the water will stay into the cooler. We also want the cooler set as close to the injury as possible so that we're not making the pump work harder than it needs to. So for example, if you're treating your shoulder, it would be best if this were on a nightstand or sitting on a table next to you versus on the floor.